Hi, I'm Martin from Prince Potty. What we're gonna be showing you in this video is how to fit an external waste tank like our Prince Potty to an Epsom EcoTank ET2711. First thing about these printers, they have a porous pad holder in this section here. So what we need to do is remove this access hatch and take the pad holder out so we can access the waste tube. You're gonna need a screwdriver like this. Now, as we'll show you later on, uh, a screwdriver like this one is fine for this bit, but later on in the process, you're gonna need something like this, preferably with a magnetic tip. First thing we do, remove this screw here. Taking this thing off can be quite tricky. So what you have to do sometimes is get your fingernails behind this bit here and then pull towards the back and then it'll come off. So put that somewhere safe and out of the way. You then need to remove this screw here. Now we need to remove this pad holder. Put this in a container somewhere out of the way. You won't need to use it again. I'm just gonna lift this printer up using this panel to show you or show the camera what's going on under here. We want to take this piece of plastic out. If you look here, there is a screw right at the back there, which we need to get out. So. This is why a magnetic screw driver is so useful. This will then come out. So now that we're at this point, we need to disconnect the tube from this. So what we do, gently release the tube from there and there you go, that's now free. And then slowly, slide the tube out of there. So now that we've freed up the waste tube in the printer, we now need to create a route for the extension to be able to get into the printer and connect to that waste tube there. So what we're gonna do is get our drill. Place we want to drill is roughly just below the second spine. So if this is the bottom of the panel, we're going to drill our hole just inside and underneath the spine there. Now that we've drilled the hole, we need to feed our tubing part through the hole. The first thing we need to do is disconnect our barbed connector from this tube. We then feed our tube into the hole so that we can connect on the other side. Once it's in, we reconnect the thin end into this tube, our extension. Once you've done that, you then relocate your waste tube in the printer and you connect the thick end into waste tube like that. Now that we've done that, we need to start reassembling the printer again. So we gently pull the tube so that that sits there like that.
So there you go, the tube is now installed. All we need to do now is relocate our screws. And reinsert the screw them into position. Well, that's it. We now take our Prince Potty tank, put the lid on, the vent nearest the valve, and we connect it to our extension. Like that. Make sure this is open. And that's pretty much it. That's an external waste ink kit, a print potty installed on an EcoTank ET2711. The only thing left to do now is just tidy up. You've got two spare screws, so don't worry if you've um, suddenly realized that they're there. You don't need those anymore. You can screw them back into the appropriate places where they were before if you really want to hang on to them. Um, you can also dump this and the pad holder. They're no longer required. If for whatever reason you suspect that you are going to be putting your printer back as it was previously so that you can resell it or give it to a family member or something like that, then hang on to those parts um, and the link for these instructions. All you'll need to do is reverse the process. And that's it really. That is uh, a printer potty installed on an ET2711. If you found this video useful, please do give us a thumbs up. If you're interested in any more of our content, then please do hit the subscribe button. Um, we'd love to see you come back and see more of our content. It helps us to reach more and more viewers and also save a lot more printers from going into landfill early. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope it's been useful and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.